Hey guys, my name is Logan Walter. I'm a worship leader at the Austin Stone, and this is a song called Emmanuel. Many of you know this, but Emmanuel is a Hebrew word, and it means God with us. And if you have heard this song, then you already know that because it's right there in the chorus. Emmanuel, God with us. It's a song that allows us to celebrate the nearness of God. It's a song that says that he is trustworthy even when we are not trustworthy. And it also allows us to ask God to draw near. Okay, so in the Bible, when you read the Bible, it's very clear that God is everywhere. And yet he also wants us to draw near to him. He doesn't promise that he's always going to emotionally feel near to us. That's why there's over 60 psalms of lament. That's why in James chapter 4 it says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. So even though God is ever present, he wants us to beg for his nearness. And so that's what we get to do in this song. I'm going to teach you how to play it. There's a little melody at the beginning that you can play if you want. It goes like this. Okay, I think that that's a little bit awkward to play on an acoustic guitar. So if you want to pick around on something and create some dynamic with your uh, finger picking, I think this would probably be a good option just to do something consistent. Just to be picking on the, the B and the G string. And then sometimes when I play a D, I'll just slide up that C formation. That's another way of playing a D chord. And then just find ways to let this song build. So I like to occasionally, if I'm playing this song, man, start it big. And if you don't know these chords, you can go to awesomestoneworship.com and you can search for the chord chart for Emmanuel. All the chords are right there. You can find the, the lettered chords that'll tell you E minor, C minor, uh, G, and you can find the numbered chords that'll tell you one, four, five, six. And the main thing with this song is just to let the song build. So that first verse is going to be very sparse. And then uh, the second verse, it jumps up an octave. So you're going to want to build the dynamic, maybe do some muted strums, okay? And then on that first chorus, it drops down, so just let those chords ring, create some space in the song, and then it jumps up for this interlude, and then it'll jump down to muted strums for that next verse, and then for the bridge, I think again, just let it breathe on the bridge. My heart and flesh may fail, but God, you never will. Just let that first bridge breathe, because you sing that bridge several times. Depending on how you want to approach it, you can sing that bridge as many as six times in this song. Okay, when I sing it acoustically, I might cut a couple of those out, just because I don't have a whole band to create dynamics and, and keep that chorus, keep that bridge feeling fresh. So. Find ways to build that bridge throughout. Okay. Forever, Emmanuel, God with us. And just strumming full out. Just kind of switch up that strumming pattern. But make sure that that chorus at the end is a really big dynamic. And then you can drop down at the end. My heart and flesh may fail, but God, you never will. It's up to you how you want to structure the song, but make sure that there is dynamic changes. So start low, build it up, bring it down for the bridge, and then build it back up. All right, let's sing it together. From the mountain's edge to the valley low When the river's wild and the sea billows roll 
from your perfect presence I cannot escape you are ever with me I trust your name Yeah. 